shining down and I hit the street. I used to think that preaching would get you on your knees, but it's people helping people. Now that will set you free. Shalom. Peace unto you. Shalom. And everyone is there. I wonder who might have seen. One of the things that makes Shalom uh, special is our approach to our, our clients. And we use what's called a low barrier approach. Um, a low barrier approach is recognized on a national level as a best practice. It uh, basically means, in a nutshell, that we put, try and put as few barriers as possible between the services and the clients. My second marriage took me down to Martinsville. And then after that fell apart, I was when the home was started. When I first came to the Shalom Center, I was a mother with five children. I came up here homeless, and uh, they, as people told me, there's a place that, you know, help you, know, give you some food and stuff, they, like serve you lunch and stuff like that. When it turned cold, I was out on the sidewalks, and that's where I learned about Shalom because of the uh, coffee and uh, the uh, services. Foundationally, in terms of what we do, we're, we're, we try to be a comprehensive uh, service center, if you will, for people who are experiencing homelessness and or poverty. Everything started bouncing back for me, and I didn't, I wasn't homeless no more. I got lucky between November and now, I've been getting paid, which is the first time I've had a steady paycheck since 03. So I went in and talked to Blair Johnson, and he represented me, and I did get my SSI. I'm on my feet today. I've got an apartment and a job because of this place. We would come back on like one day a week and try to help, you know, like in the kids' room or whatever. I started just jumping in and doing dishes back there whenever we get a big stock and I was going like, well, look at all these people sitting around. You know, there's a whole big stock of dishes up there. So I started going in and I'd get them in order and then I'd notice that the guy coming in and I'd be, he'd be sitting there looking at me and I'd be in his way. Well, he was the real volunteer who's supposed to be there on the schedule. But the happiest I just didn't feel I was worthy of being on earth and the Shalom Center and all the staff and all the guests, a combination of everybody together, built my self-respect back. And that's what this Shalom is about, is making sure that when you've been beat down, that you don't have to be, that you can be brought back up because everybody here cares. And that's what the Shalom Center is about, and that's what I love about it. They brought me to the world again.